The latest developments now on a story we first brought you as breaking last night at 10 and 11. The investigation continues tonight into the capital city's sixth homicide of the year. Police say 36 year old Freddie Tola was shot and killed on Valley Street last night. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima spoke with Tola's mother and is live in Providence with what she's saying tonight. Julianne. Shannon and Mike, police are still searching for the person who shot and killed Freddie Tola last night. He was standing inside an auto body shop on Valley Street in Providence when he was ambushed. Flowers and balloons mark the spot where 36 year old Freddie Tola was shot and killed. The Providence father of two was having his car serviced at an auto body shop on Valley Street when he was shot by a suspect wearing a hoodie. The suspect entered the garage by an open garage door and seemed to specifically target Mr. Tola, and he shot him at close range. Police say the suspect took off on foot, and they haven't been able to track him down. We spoke to Tola's mother at her home. She didn't want her face shown on camera, and a loved one translated for us. Because he was very loving with me. He was always hugging me, always kissing me. She says one of Tola's friends showed up at her house last night. He said, I came to get you. And she said, for what? To take you to the hospital. To the hospital for what? She says they shot Freddie. She said I went crazy when he told me that. The friend said Tola was shot in the back. He was rushed to Rhode Island Hospital where he later died. Police would not say how many times Tola was shot, but witnesses heard several rounds be fired off. Yeah, it was just a pop, pop, pop. Uh, it almost sounded like firecrackers, 4th of July. Tola leaves behind a 15 year old son and a 14 year old daughter. She wants there to be justice that this is not forgotten and just thrown to the back. And Tola's mother tells us he had a rough past but was trying to straighten out his life. You'll hear more from her on that coming up at 6. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News. For new details at 6 on the man Providence police say was gunned down at an auto body shop late last night. It was breaking last night at 10 on Fox Providence. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima talked to police and the victim's family today. She joins us live from Providence with what she's learned. Julianne. Good evening, Shannon and Mike. Well, Providence police say the suspect entered the auto body shop through an open garage door and ambushed Freddie Tola, shooting him at close range. A massive scene on Valley Street Tuesday night after 36 year old Freddie Tola was gunned down. She said, I don't know what my life is going to be like from here on out. Eyewitness News spoke to Tola's heartbroken mother less than a day after her son's murder. She didn't want her face shown on camera and a loved one translated for us. He was very loving with me. He was always hugging me. <laughs> Always kissing me. Police say Tola was inside Latour Auto Body Shop when a hooded suspect came up and shot him. Mr. Tola was having his car repaired at the auto body shop and we believe he was specifically targeted in this uh, shooting. Tola had a lengthy rap sheet with several drug related charges. His mother says he was trying to straighten out his life. When he was young, she, he gave her problems, but he matured now as an adult. He changed a lot. Tola leaves behind two teenage children. His daughter wrote him this message on a balloon at the scene, signing it, your princess. She wants there to be justice, that this is not forgotten and just thrown to the back. And police say the suspect is still on the loose. They're reviewing surveillance video and ask that anyone with information give them a call. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.